already seen me and they've snuck off around the other side. I'll just walk on round. It's my uh, husband's uh, ingenious watering device, so we've only had to uh, lug a jerry can. Hey, piglies! What a mess you guys have made! Hey, piglies! Hello! Are you coming out? We got some. I got your numbs. Hey, piglies! Oh, I will pause the video and get the uh, get this food to these piggies. So I'm down by the pig enclosure, and uh, one of the things I love about this place is that sometimes, being at the top of the hill here, you wake up as if you are on an island. I'm waiting for the girls to finish their breakfast. One of them was a bit sick yesterday, so I'm just keeping an eye. Um, today's job then, I'm feeding them in buckets today because this trough is disgusting. They've filled it up with mud. There is actually a hole in it to drain it, but they've obviously filled that up with mud as well. And their entire enclosure, morning piggies, who are eating out their buckets, or oh, both trying to eat the same one, is absolutely mud ridden. Now, a little bit of weather, and they have turfed it over good. So it's a case of today, we're gonna to be moving the electric fencing round, clearing out their trough and giving them a go at some of this land here. So they can dig up some of the weeds and root about and have a bit of fun. Luckily, we've still got some gates down here so we can sort of pen them in a little bit while we, uh, while we work. And they are now turfing the buckets onto the wiring. And uh, yeah, this one there wasn't very well last night. She was a bit of a sicky pig. The plain one. Spotty's doing fine. I see Spotty is the fatter of the two. But there are some concerns over this one, so we're just going to keep an eye on her today. She's hungry. She's eating there this morning. And uh, seems to be a little perkier, which is good. So, it is pig moving afternoon, stage Yay! one. Get pigs into Can house. I get the so, success. Pigs are in. Pigs are now being secured in there for momentarily purposes. For us to now move all this fencing over this piece of land. Hurrah! And we have buzzards up ahead, overhead. A couple of them. Wheeling around overhead. So we have the fencing now going in. Whoopsie! Little boy just went over one of the wires. Won't be doing that when he's so this is the last one of the first posts going in, just tamping in the earth. It's one of the corner posts. I tell you what, it's much easier putting them in this time around than it was in the middle of that heat wave with that rock solid earth. And we've got one more here, we're ready to go in, and that'll be our run back up to the pig house. They're currently shut in, and uh, yeah, I think William is. Um, William's been playing in the mud over there and uh, he is utterly filthy getting in. Right, so the fence is about to go live again and then the piggies will be released into their new, improved enclosure. So today is Monday, the somethingth of August. And we will see uh, what they do. Um. Go for it. Release the piggies! Right, as soon as I've got these gates. Yup. Uh, are you going way. up? Sure. It's not going to. Yeah. Spit on your finger. Yeah, I'm not going to touch a top wire. No, just not. Tell you what, with your other finger. No! No! Big noise. No, no, William, no! It's 
It's alright, it's not live, Mum. Uh. Ah. Shock! Sting! Pigs won't test it because they still think it's live. Let's do it, actually. Right. There we go, Piggly Wigglies. Isn't that much nicer? Oh, that clever girl. Yeah. Oh, look, look, James doing the grass oh, trick no. to test the fencing slide. No. That's live. <laughs> Happy piggy running round in the grass. Yeah. Checking out her boundaries. In fact, they've probably got a little bit more room to run around. Just the way it's set up now. And the ones come out to have a nosy. I think it looks bigger. I don't think it is. No, I wouldn't have thought. A laugh and a gallop, and off they pop. Happy, happy piggies. So I've come down to feed them this evening, um, and uh, they're still rather enjoying their uh, green patch, but already they are troughing great holes in the place. You see, all the way around, just behind that one bottom. Down the side here. So we're already seeing great big holes being truffled around. So that's about two hours and they've started digging already. I don't know how long this is going to last. And the hunter gatherer has returned from the polytunnel with how much? How heavy are those, James? 15, 10. Yeah, and what's in them? Tomatoes, gherkins, cucumbers. Cucumbers? Are you fine with cucumbers? No, didn't pick the cucumbers. Okay, I'll go down and do those. But they've got beans? Tomatoes, courgettes, squash, melon. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good haul then. Yeah. Yeah.